The Ghetto of Venice it is the first ghetto in the world. Ghetto in Venetian dialect in the past means foundry, metal foundry. In this part of the city, the government of Venice made the canons for the war, nothing to do with the Jews. In 1516, this area was abandoned and given to them. The first Jews to in Venice were Ashkenazim Jews, Jews from the north and from the east Europe. And then, uh, just after the 1540, started arriving the ghetto, also the Sephardi community, the Jews from the Mediterranean Sea. In Venice, uh, we have several synagogues. In the Ghetto Nuovo, the ancient part of the ghetto, there are still now three synagogues. Uh, the first one that was founded here was the Scuola Grande Tedesca, the German Ashkenazi synagogue. And then, uh, a few years later, in 1532, was founded the Scuola Canton. Here we are in the Scuola Canton, the second scene that was built in the city. Canton in Venetian language means corner. In fact, the scene was built exactly on the corner of the island, which is a square was founded in 1532, but uh, uh, not a lot of things remain from the time. The synagogue was uh, uh, restored several times, especially in the 1600, in the 1700, in the 1800, and also uh, now it is under restoration. A peculiar thing that we have in the Canton Synagogue, it is the presence of some images. It's not so easy to find uh, images in the Orthodox synagogues. Here, in 1736, during the bigger restoration, they were added these uh, wooden panels with uh, eight uh, bariliefs. All have the history of the Bible, mainly uh, from the book of the Exodus, the first one that we have up here, it is uh, the most interesting because uh, it represents Moses uh, knocking the rock to get the water in the desert. It's not so easy to find uh, Moses in the synagogues. Obviously, we cannot see Moses. We can see only the hand and the stick. But anyway, it will be uh, quite peculiar to have that. The images here were totally restored now. They, regild, they were regilded in a, a big part, because uh, in the past uh, the, gil, the gold was totally disappearing. And then uh, another interesting thing that come out from here are the colors. Before, before the restoration, everything was very, very dark, was full of dust. And after the restoration that they are finishing now, come out all the gilded, all the colors, or the details that we can see uh, now in this one, for example. The ladies' gallery of the Canton Synagogue it is totally integrated into the decoration here. During the restoration, they clean up all the gilded that were before. They take it off the purpurine that was used in a certain period to integrate the, the decoration that was already lost. And in this last uh, restoration, this, the uh, gilded were totally reclean and they bring up all the ancient gilded that we found under here. The Arona Kodesh, the Holy Ark of the Canton Synagogue, it is the most ancient part of the synagogue. Date back uh, 1672. It is made in wood 
and it is totally gilded. Here, uh, the difference with the other gilding that we found in the synagogue, it is that uh, the gold that they were using, it is very, very thick, compared to all the others that we found in other parts of the synagogue. Uh, it is where very well preserved, and uh, here all the carved, all the moldings uh, were cleaned up, restored, and uh, was totally uh, refixed in all the parts. Another important thing that we found, it is uh, the inside that uh, have a special part in here. The balustrade was uh, changed probably in the 1800, uh, and uh, we found here the original tissue that we're using to cover the bottom part of the holy ark. Inside, it is totally covered in a certain metal. We, don't, we are not sure about zinc, about plumb. And uh, here, the tissue, it is interesting because behind have the name of the synagogue. So probably the tissue was made in purpose for the synagogue. The date, it is between the 1700, the end of the 1700, beginning of the 1800. A special mention to the uh, Parnassim chairs that were restored and uh, here we can still see a lot of the original gilded. Uh, here the gilded is very thick, uh, much more than the other part that we already visit. And uh, in this part, uh, the uh, decoration, the molding, the uh, details are quite clear and they were really uh, taken to the original uh, version. On the opposite side here, we have the Bima. The Bima, it is the reading desk, the place where the Torah is being read. This part was built on Eliago. Eliago, it is a typical Venetian balcony, and was totally restored during the 1735. It is similar to these small theaters that uh, often we found in the Venetian palaces. And here, the restoration was made uh, during the last period in a very detailed way. In the case of the Bima, the restoration uh, was done like uh, all the other part of the synagogue. Here the, uh, the, the part was totally clean. They take it off the porporina that also in this part of the synagogue was used during the previous restoration. And then uh, uh, the synagogue here, uh, the part of the Bima, had a little problem of static. There were parts that were really uh, collapsing, collapsing. There were parts that were uh, falling apart. Now everything was fixed up, and uh, uh, the synagogue it is stable. Mm -hmm.